Hello and welcome back to the Skyrim Creation Kit Bootcamp tutorial series. Today I'm going to go over the homework assignment for Chapter 1. If you haven't done the assignment, I encourage you to go back to Chapter 1 and look over the tutorials and the homework videos linked in the description. For the first homework assignment, you were to create a simple inn. It had to have a unique cell and interior data names, a main floor with an entrance, one room at least for a rentable bed, a basement cell with its own name, and a trapdoor exit in the basement. I'll go over each requirement step by step. First, open the creation kit and load up Skyrim as usual. Next, save your mod right away. I always save right away so I can quickly save while working and generate backups. Next, make a new cell. Go to World and Cells. Right click on the list of cells and select New. Give the cell a unique name. Go to the Interior Data tab and give it a public name. You may want to mark the cell as public while you're here, even though it wasn't a requirement. We know the cell is public since it's an inn. While we're here, let's make the basement. Using the same method, create a similarly named cell for the basement. In the Interior Data tab, give it a name and mark it as public as well. Then hit OK. I'll load up the simple inn first. Under World Objects and Static, search for the Farm Int in tile set. Drag and drop all of those pieces into your render window. You can assemble them as desired. Since I'd like to use a basement, I'm going to use the farm int in end 05 tile instead of the farm int in end 02 tile because that one doesn't include a stairway leading down to a basement. Don't forget to include your farm int in wall entrance 01 tile so there's a main door leading to the exterior. You should have something fairly similar to this building. It doesn't have to be terribly complex. It just needs an entrance. One of these rooms will be a bedroom and it needs some way to get into the basement. I've decided to use this stairwell that leads down to a door. You could also have a trap door behind the counter. Now let's build the basement. Load up the basement cell. It should be empty. In the World Objects Static category, find the Farm B tile set. We know we want to use a trap door, so drag and drop the Farm B walled trap door 01 tile onto the render window. We'll build around this. Next, let's grab some walls. Find the Farm B wall 01 through 04 tiles and drag them onto the scene. Arrange them without rotating them so we can block out roughly how big we want the interior space to be. This rough shape looks like it could be built under our inn, so we'll fill it in with other tiles. First, duplicate the tile next to the trapdoor and place it on the opposite side of the door. You can do that with Ctrl D. Next, grab all of the Farm B corner tiles and place them in the cell. You want to adjust the tiles around to make sure that everything fits properly and to make sure that nothing overlaps. Without rotating, place them around the cell. If your corners look different than these, then make sure you're using the correct corner tile. There's also a corner BL tile that looks a little different. It looks L-shaped, which is why it's named that way. Now, using the Ctrl D duplicate function and arranging the tiles, form the perimeter of the basement. Next, fill in the center area using Farm B Middle 01. Duplicate to fill in the inner area. Remember, you can duplicate multiple pieces at once by selecting multiple tiles and hitting Ctrl D for the group selection. This is sufficient for the assignment, though you can change this layout if you like by using other tiles. For example, you can select any of the middle tiles and hit Ctrl F, which will let you replace the actual tile that you've selected with a similar tile. This can introduce some slight variability in your designs. The next chapter deals with interior level design, so keep the simple in mod ready for the next assignment. Thanks for watching.